elected in the next election. Probably. Chuck he, Schumer's already calling. For yeah, the yeah. New election. Like, yeah. <laughs> like my, I called, I called my friend in Israel. He says like everyone hates him now. Everyone, uh -huh. like, no one. Like, I think the statistic said something like eighty percent. <laughs> okay, okay. My, my hope uh, in the Jewish Israelis has been restored. Sorry? My hope in the Jewish Israelis has been restored. Yeah. yeah we're, not, we're not all fun, right wing fundamentalists. Yeah. Um, I feel uh. like we found more that we agree on. I, well, I, I, I still think my main problem is that. You're pushing for division, and I've, when people interpret it as like oh, we should hate the other side, and like, and you agreed with me on my point that there's no future without either, either of the people. Mm. So when you're when you're saying statements like this, like no, I passion, it's very complicated. Most people don't know the context behind that, and uh, and then it's just the message which I've seen is just like evil sign is like blah blah blah. Um, you know, no to the occupation is such a mild statement. No, I know. It, you know, like it doesn't even say that there should not be a Zionist people, state. Most people don't know why you know, there's it an sort of leaves Israel alone, you know, I without mean, we can, criticism. We can, we can debate about the specifics of the wars, but yeah. there is an occupation because of the wars. Um, no, because of the state. Well, they're not occupied. Palestine is never an actual state, but they're not really occupied. It's a valid argument. I mean, there, there I should mean, have been a state. There should have been two states, but there was never a possible state, so you're not, you're not really occupying anything. It's a very weak argument. You know, it's uh, because um, mandatory Palestine was <clears throat> was administered by the British, you know, on a temporary basis with a view to um, promoting the independence of, of Palestine. From the British Empire. That's what their mandate was all about, according to the League of Nations. I might have it on my phone. I saw, I saw a po some old po picture of an old poster. That was a. It said Free Palestine. Hey. And then, and then oh, come, Zion. come. This is my friend Andrew. He's a Holocaust survivor. Oh. Come, come. Here's my young friend who comes to talk to me. Hi. Hi. I know, it's terrible. The Marxists don't like me. Also, they're banned by the injunction. They're not allowed to come here anymore because they made trouble for people. Wow. Well, what? The Jewish, I'm not, uh, America, I just find it, like, organized funny. freedom for Palestine. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That's what I tell the protesters for the hostages, you know. Let's exchange our people for their people. Yeah, but you are not ready to take it. Why? Because I I can't tell you why. It's okay. The reason why because that hostages it came from a war. Different, you know, they are no listen, but listen. for the Palestinians, yeah, it's yeah, the same. No, no, but, but they, they did not keep your person, they yeah. The same. Well, listen, why they don't give why they don't give back the 130 people and let talk because, most of uh, because they'll be destroyed. Yeah, but they can't, it's yeah. their only bargaining uh, uh, power that they have. Okay, well, they could say the same thing, you know, yeah, just yeah. to Israel. Why don't you release all the Palestinians? Then we yeah, can but, talk. But, 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 10,000 prisoners. Why they release them? Okay. Well, so, I mean, I, I kind of know what you're talking about. I know, I, I, I totally understand that a lot of the Israeli prisoners from the Gaza Strip. Not right? in our name. No genocide in Gaza. The kids. I know, you know, the parents are there, so. Um, They're using their kids as human shields. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, there are a lot of uh, pe people who are arrested by the IDF who are unjustifiably arrested, like a kid who throws a rock.
but you, the difference that you have to acknowledge is there is a very big difference between a nine-month-old baby and like an 18-year-old with stabbing attacks and Molotov cocktails. I'm not saying that's everyone, but a very well, yeah, the, the the number of prisoners who were violent of the Palestinians is 563 out of 10,000. The rest are non-violent crimes. Where's that from? Where's that from the uh, Israeli uh, organizations that, uh, like Betzlem, that uh, collect all the information from the uh, from the from the uh, prison authorities. But uh, like since October the seventh, you know, four thousand nine hundred have been arrested. You know, just as bargaining chips. Well, what are they, in so the, they in can. The Gaza Strip or the West Bank? What do you in the West Bank alone. In the West Bank alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, and Gaza, it's Gaza now they're taking prisoners as well, but yeah. you know they just collect. People and then they use them as bargaining chips, and they say, "Okay, we'll exchange these people for the for the hostages," you know. So they don't they end up, you know, like not losing anything. So it's a big game, political game. But it, you know, the Netanyahu government they don't want to, you know, do anything like that at all. You know, they're not. You know, if I was in if I was in Hamas, actually no, I don't know what I would do if I was in Hamas because I obviously would much about my people, but let's say it was a, I don't know, if they surrender, they, they'll, they'll go to, uh, under like an agreement that they'll have a just like trial, or, um, then uh, then they won't, they won't die in combat, they'll just go to prison, and um, they don't want to surrender. Why not? They're totally, I mean in terms of the PR war, they're winning. 80%, the, I'll tell you, 80% the of the, uh, 80% of the Hamas fighters are orphans who have been orphaned by previous, you know, attacks. So they have nothing to, to live for. Only well, for Palestine. Except, except to kill the Jews. They're, they're, no, because Palestine is their family Jews. now. Why, so why, are, like, why are, where does killing people on October 7th get, get them anywhere? Nowhere. They took hostages. They didn't try to kill people, except for soldiers. What about the Nova Festival? Really think they just either, either they captured them as hostages and then they were shot by the helicopters. Awesome. I have the videos. No, I, there's and there's a one woman hostage who was just. Well, in, why would they be at the Nova Festival? They didn't even know the Nova Festival was there. Shoot up a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. Like actually, no. I don't want to argue. Okay, I don't have data, so I can't. But it's just a matter of facts, you know. It's not a matter of facts. There's a lot of people who would. Uh, at the Nova Festival, there were hundreds who were killed. Yes. Why? The civilians. It is. It was. They ran in there. Because they were being taken hostage, and they were on the way back to Gaza, so the helicopters shot them. One woman testified in an interview. She, she survived one such attack, and then she was recaptured by Hamas, I okay, I and then she there, was released. There definitely was some casualties made by the IDF, but it is not the majority. And I can. Let's I have can an investigation. You know, they should investigate. They should. But uh, I can but uh, don't. I'll email you stuff. But uh, I, I don't know. I think arguing about October 7th when we don't have like laptops and ready to pull all the sources is. Uh, more, more but I do that during the week. Yes. During the week, I look at all the information. You know? Yeah, me too. I'm, it's one of my uh, favorite things to do during my free time now to just listen to debates. You, know, you ever heard of Norman Finkelstein? Yeah, I don't like him very much. Yeah, uh, you, you, seem, you, seem, you seem like a more moderate version of him, literally. No, yeah, no, he's he comes from, his parents were are survivors, yes. Yeah. But they, you know, raised him, you know, as in a Communist Party mentality, you know, they're Communist Party members. So he rebelled by becoming a Maoist, you know, but he was always a Marxist, you know, he never could understand what the Jewish people were about. So he never had an education like me, you know, I was raised a Jewish Bundist by my mother. Yeah. So I, I'm completely different than him, but you know, we're supposed to be, you know, talking about the same thing, but it's not. And he's also arrogant, you know. I find. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah so it was a debate between, with uh, it was like a two v two. It was him, some Middle East and uh, like analysis per person, versus uh, some Jewish historian. Then he, no, 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 uh, some Jewish historian and some guy named Destiny. Have you heard of him? Uh, Dershowitz. Dershowitz. Yeah, I saw a debate between oh, him and... No, no, his name is like Stephen Bornell or something. Oh, no, yeah. that's another one. Yeah, but uh, uh, he's a... I mean, his title is officially just political like streamer commentator, but he's 
he's definitely he agrees with me on a lot of stuff he uh, 